This experiment is called Let's Produce a Plastic and the purpose of it is to help children understand how a plastic is produced and how that final product plastic can have differing properties to the starting materials. You will require the borax solution found within the polymer kit, the PVA glue and also two measuring spoons, plastic stirring rod and the clear plastic cup. Please also note that the experiment does recommend the use of gloves, particularly when handling the borax and PVA mixture. We will start by pouring the PVA into the clear plastic cup. Another tip, rather than using the nozzle, which can at times become blocked, unscrew the cap completely and pour this into your measuring spoon. So now I take one measuring spoon and I pour my PVA solution over it. I hold it over the cup to avoid any mess. I then pour this into my plastic cup. At this stage, you can use your plastic stirring rod to aid getting as much of the PVA as possible out of the spoon and into the cup. I now take a clean measuring spoon and my borax solution. We're going to be measuring two spoons worth into the plastic cup. Essentially double the amount of PVA that you use. Now it is important to take your mixture and mix it thoroughly to ensure all the borax mixes with the PVA polymer. A process can occur by which you don't form a solid ball and this simply means that not enough borax solution was added. So simply add a little bit more. You will start to see as you're stirring a solid ball forming. Once you are happy that it's been thoroughly mixed, we can take the plastic out of the cup and then we can make our ball. When you first take it out of the cup, squeeze it a few times just to make sure that all the borax and PVA have thoroughly mixed together. Next, we'll take this material, place it in between our palms and simply rub it together. To make the experiment more fun for kids, you can also add in some food colouring at an early stage. Eventually, you should end up with a round ball that's very soft and bouncy. And again, I'd encourage you to get the kids to come up and interact with the material so they can understand how the properties are very different to the two liquid starting materials.